Hi everyone and welcome to Web as Step Tutorials. This is Ahmad Fakhr and this tutorial about Google Maps alternatives. If you don't know, Google Maps changing the pricing list and for that we make a series about how to work with cheap or free Google Maps alternatives and we start this series with Mapbox as the first alternative for Google Maps because it is has a free package and it is more cheap than Google Maps and the documentation is clear so in this second tutorial on this series we discuss four subjects first how to search for a place using geocoding how to draw directions on a map how to get driving directions from one location to another how to get the distance and durations for this travel at first let's test the example after that we will go to discuss step by step how this example working behind the scene now the first step is to test geolocation and boot box to search the location new delhi in india then let's draw a direction using the draw tools we start from delhi this is the start point to road 200 and five if you end with that you click on the end point or you can click more points there is no problem with more points but the limit is 25 points we will stop here and click again as you see this draw the way to road 205 in the left side on this map as you see this is the route direction or the instruction step by step how to go to this location and in the final of this list you will see the distance about 26 kilometers and the duration about 113 minutes what if you want to move this line to another location you can click again and try to move it as you need the direction and instruction change it also the distance and the duration time you can also delete this line another thing you can go to the console let's clear that and draw see that what happened here you have the coordinates for this location every coordinate for this location is a point on the map from this point to this point there is a coordinates and from this point to the another point there is a coordinate until you go to the end of this direction if you want to use or see this demo just go to the description click the demo link and see how it works yourself now for developers let's go behind the scene to see how the code works hi again as you see in this example we have just html file with a normal html syntax here we include the mapbox gs library the styling for the mapbox and we load the mapbox geocoder library to use it in the input search the styling for the geocoder then we load the draw gs which is the library that give us the ability to draw on the map as you see here okay and the styling for the draw every library has the gs file and css file after that we have a style small style for the map and for the geocoder the instruction after that we have the div that contain the map this container here the geocoder search input as you see this 
and the instructions that appear here if we inspect here you will see the instructions the geocoder and here the map okay after that we start the script with the access token as a side note this public access token is for me it is suppose you change this access token because it is has a limit for you said after that we create a new variable that get the instruction dev by the id instruction here we create a new map with the container map this map container is related to this id then we give it the style there is many styles in map box this is one of them then we gave the initial location from the center attribute using the latitude and longitude the zoom the main zoom to keep the camera is so close to the streets after that we create a new decoder that related to this dev after that we have on load event listener because when we search let's write india when i click on india this load the map and on load the map it will get the result and send it to the console i put it here to understand how the geocoder relate to the map after that we use the drawer so we have a map a geocoder and the result of geocoder and the drawer map box draw has a style this is the style it is draw a line the type is line and this is the layout the paint this is the color blue blue color and this is the opacity for the color as you see here this is the color is blue for the line let's go after that we add the draw to the map using map dot add control are you remember map created here as a variable here we use it to add a control which is draw then we create a three even listener on draw on create a line on the map what to do use the update route on update use the update route on delete delete the line remove the route as you see here if i draw it and i want to remove it will go to the draw delete event what is behind the scene on these functions we have update route that overwrite or remove the old layer the old line and create another one it use a get match what is a get match function this function take the new coordinates the coordinates like that when i draw here it will take these coordinates and send it to get match in get match it will call the directions api with coordinates and make ajax request and the respond will be json using the get action so after load the data from this api it will return a json response and i use it like this get the distance from the json response get the duration get the steps get the coordinates let's make an example let's start with steps and hide all these examples let's draw open the console and draw here are you see that this is the steps open one of this as you see the duration the driving side and the instructions this is the instructions head north as you see head north the mood is cycling let's stop this and open coordinates 
let's try again print it as you see this is all the coordinates from point 1 to point 2 you can save all this into database as you like to use it as you like then hide this this is the distance and duration let's try to print it as you see this is the duration and the distance here we make a loop for the steps and print it into the instructions div here it will loop and create all these instructions with the p tag into instructions div as you see here okay then we print the distance and the durations after printing these instructions finally add the route how to add the route it is very easy we make add layer that related to the map after deleting or removing the old layers but as you may ask how the map know to draw these directions or instructions between the two points this by using the coordinates are you remember we pass the coordinates that came from the response and pass it again to add route so again again this is a very important to know that this is the coordinates are you remember that we draw here and this is the coordinates it will take all these coordinates and give them back to add route add route function will add a layer using the coordinates and draw it using this color and this layout after finishing using also the route id and the type is line and it will be a json data the data geometry using the coordinates and this is the layout and the paint it is very easy to know that the remove route as you see here will remove the old layers and update the html into instructions see that this is the instructions okay go to instructions and empty the data into the instructions div and the final step is to relate the geocoder with the map using geocoder id get element by id as you remember here geocoder and relate it with the map to effect on the map finally i hope you understand this tutorial well and if you have any question just leave a comment and subscribe for more tutorials about free or cheap maps as a google maps alternatives again if you have any problem with google maps in the previous tutorials this is not about the tutorial problem it is about google changing their price list go and create new account and get this account update the API key and the previous examples will work very fine. Also, if you have any recommendation about a new tutorials, please leave a comment and as I can, I will schedule it in the future. Thank you for watching. See you next. Bye.